a mythic tier list. Today I'm going to tier list all of the mythics, actually. Um, partly because of a request from a boju, but uh, this will be for 1.20, and um, yeah, I guess let's get started. Um, I'm going to rank all the mythic boots first, I think, so... Uh, let's see, War Chief, Crusade. I don't actually have that much, um, like, experience building with Mythic Boots, but I know at least. Uh, I I know Revenant is situationally used in like hunted builds. I'm pretty sure. I've, I think I've seen one like EFA build. I think with Revenant that was non terrible. Moon Tower is almost exclusively used in loot running. It's rarely used for anything cool, anything powerful, at least. Crusade is situationally good, you know, high health and all that such tankiness. <laughs> uh, War Chief, uh, I, th I think ETW uses it sometimes. I'm, I'm not too experienced with it, but I haven't seen anything crazy with it. Uh, Stardew, I'm putting it in C tier because it actually has a use, and it's good sometimes. Though often, I mean, you can just find a replacement for Stardew. It's it's not always the best. Uh, Dawnbreak, well, D tier still because it's not. I mean, it's not spectacular, you know. Uh, Discover combat utility is terrible, so I'm putting it there. Resurgence, A tier because Resurgence. I mean, Resurgence is crazy. You have your mana sorted, you have high health regen, higher health regen than it really warrants, and 25 intelligence? You can do some really crazy shenanigans with um, Resurgence. Uh, but, anyways, let's go Boreal. B tier, because it, has, it definitely has some use. Ultra Tank? I mean, definitely has use for Boreal, but you can even go, like... Um, somewhat tank and uh, have decent damage and also use boreal so it's it's good in some some cases uh, you know it, I mean in 1.19 it was actually pretty busted you know you could use rainbow slap um, orange lily with boreal and it, would, it was crazy um, I'm gonna put slayer with resurgence because you can do some really cool stuff with slayer so I mean a lot of Slayer builds you can only do with Slayer, or I, I guess it's, I mean op, obviously it's a Mythic boot, so it has interesting things with it. Uh, so Resurgence and Slayer get A tier just because they're they're useful and can make some very unique builds. Boreal because it's very strong in niche uh, cases. Uh, Stardew, well, I mean Stardew's usable, and then oh yeah, and Galleon. All these here, just I mean, they're they're okay. I probably, um, but they're not overpowered or anything, anything like that. Um, all right, I guess let's get to the low level mythics now. As D tier, um, Neptune's gonna get angry at me, but as is just, <clears throat> I mean. It, I've seen some cool ETFA things done with AS, but honest, just use cluster. Just use cluster. It's fine. AS AS isn't isn't crazy. Although AS can use an amnesis, which <laughs> uh, does warrant for some interesting builds at least. <laughs> uh, let's see. Pure, pure. Mm. In terms of actual power, I'm going to put it in B tier. I mean, pure is cool design, and it's interesting, but it gets walled by elemental defenses, no curse, no courage. I mean, it's cool, though, and it's definitely a contender, so I'll put it in B tier. Um, let's see, Archangel. I mean, yeah, low damage. That, that, that I shouldn't need to explain that. That's fine there. Um, Apoc. Uh, I'm going to put that in C tier, uh, just because, well, I mean, in terms of, like, the overall mythics, it's not incredibly busted at all, and Undying exists, so it's it's not crazy, you know, so it just goes in C tier. Um, let's see, what are, what are the other low-level mythics? Um, is that all the low-level mythics? Ah, Aftershock, Aftershock, where's Aftershock? Yeah, Aftershock. 
Hmm. Low B tier, high C tier. Uh. Yeah, I'll put it in. Well, it's like. I think it's like one of the best. I, I haven't really built much with Aftershock, but I think it's like one of the best tier stack uh, weapons. So I'll put that there, which automatically puts Alcatraz in D tier. Because Alcatraz, it's Alcatraz, and Alcatraz sucks. Uh, but Aftershock, I haven't built with it much, but I've seen like 50k DPS builds with it, so sure, it'll go in B tier. Uh, that'll probably go with a lot of the melee mythics, just ending up in B tier because it's um, usable. You know, it has really good usage for what it's for, but honestly, I'm kind of biased in that regard because I, I really don't like melee mythics. Um, Alright, I guess those are down. Uh, let's go with Assassin Mythics, then. So, I mean, I was hovering over Cataclysm. Cataclysm goes in S tier, ridiculously high base. It's it, Cataclysm is just a busted weapon. And it's kind of role-dependent, but it's just a busted weapon, and this is, definitely deserves the S tier spot. Um, well, I was, well, was going to do Assassin Mythics, but let's go uh, with what I'm thinking. My, my mind is that... So if Cataclysm uh, is in S tier, let's put Divzer in like A tier, uh, because the defense nerf to Divzer was definitely um, debilitating for a lot of Divzer builds, uh, like restricting most Divzer builds to like 10k EH EHP. But I've managed to make like. <clears throat> Uh, 20k EHP builds, uh, and I've even made a Reisu, uh Divzer build, which was amazing, but it's definitely still viable and definitely still has uh, the EHP for that. Uh, any other busted, any really busted mythics? Uh, Hero, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, but Hero, with the 50% save your sacrifice threshold in 1.20, um, Hero just you have no reason not to use uh, save your sacrifice because you're effectively at full health when you're 50%. So it just makes hero a crazy weapon. Like, you, you can stay constantly at threshold and just deal out ridiculous amounts of damage. It's really good. Um, so that would make Thrunda go to A tier. Oh, definitely. Actually, oh, man, I want to put it at the back because it's not near... I wouldn't. I. I don't think I'd put it near Divzer, um, but I guess that'll shape out. Ah, Inferno caught my eye. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's put it behind Alcatraz. Whatever. It's not like the D tier things matter, but Inferno is it's disappointing. It's okay. It's okay. It can. It can be tanky, but. It's just not great, and it's hard to build, and it's hard to build well, I should say. It's, I, I don't like it. Granted, I haven't built a 1.20 version, but I remember building it in 1.19 was just pain. Just absolute pain. Uh, oh, S. if we're going S tier, let's go Freedom. Freedom should need no introduction, but even in 1.20, Freedom is crazy. It's a damage stick with health. Walk speed, mana region, it has, Jesus, it's a crazy weapon. Uh, you can build a tank or DPS, it's great. Strati, goes in D tier, definitely above Alcatraz though. Strati is um, definitely usable, and uh, I don't necessarily like Stratiformis, but it's definitely usable. Um, you know what, uh, I'd even rank it above APOC in terms of mm, relative power level. I don't know, it's it's decent, I can I can rank it in C tier. That's That seems okay to me. Spring, Spring? So Spring, I have a, okay, I have a hard time ranking Spring because it has a different usage usually than like Divzer and Freedom. And, well, I'm not necessarily Freedom, free, that's why Freedom's in S tier, because it's tanky and it's damage dealing, but spring, 
can be built like WFA and stuff. Like you can probably get like 50k EHP on Spring, where you can't really get that on Divzer. Uh, I guess in overall power level, though, Divzer probably has Spring beat. Not not exactly sure on that one, but that sounds about right to me. Um, as for Fire Mythics, I'll put Guardian in B tier because it's virtually unkillable. Um, you have tons of survivability and you have decent team support though that's less relevant now that guardian is a major id in raids so it's it's a good it's a good weapon though it's very it's very dependable and uh will see you well i guess <laughs> uh let's see fatal fatal mm. in terms of overall power i guess it's also a tier fatal's probably also a tier uh I would say in terms of like power level across like all mythics, I'd say it's even behind Throne to Crack probably. Uh, I'm not sure on that one though. That's that's an interesting question of whether either of these two have more powerful stats. Uh, but if I'm ranking Fatal Singularity, uh, become comes before Throne to Crack probably because Singularity is actually quite powerful. You can build a tank, you can build a damage, uh, especially since you're basically like free curse or courage powder on it, whereas fatal, not many people powder their fatal FTF or WTF, WTW. Um, so singularity is probably overall better than fatal in my opinion, and singularity can be tier stack and stuff. F Singularity has a lot of use cases, uh, whereas Fatal, I think, is just kind of just Thunder Mythic, and it's probably okay, but I, I would put Singularity above Fatal, and but there, I, I could even see it being above Spring, so that that's kind of debatable. Fantasia, um, probably even above Divzer. Uh, yeah, because Fantasia is, Fantasia is pretty cool, um, I'm ranking it there mostly because of it being considered the best shaman weapon, the best shaman mythic. Uh, right, that might go to absolution, uh, but uh, Fantasia is definitely the highest damage output uh, shaman mythic. Um, so I'm going to put it in, in high A tier. Uh, personally, I don't really like Fantasia all that much. Like, it's not tanky enough for me, so I'd, I'd probably put it in like top of the B tier. Uh, so I'll, I'll keep it there, but. Um, uh, know that, like, if you're a damage junkie, it definitely deserves an A tier spot. Uh, that puts Absolution definitely uh, above Guardian, probably even above Fan. Uh, well, if you're holding Absolution, you're you're practically immortal. So uh, I guess I'll put that in. Absolution probably deserves an A tier spot because it has pretty darn high damage. Uh, you know what? No, it's high B tier because. Absolution doesn't have curse or courage. Like, I mean, the meta is, is all about damage numbers, and it really shouldn't be because, uh, like, if you have curse or courage, you're you're practically doing like, uh, at least thirty percent more dam, probably like fifty percent more damage than a build that's not using curse or courage. So, I mean, Absolution just gets a high ranking purely because you're practically immortal when you're holding it, great team support, and you have you have pretty decent damage, though I wouldn't rank it ridiculously high. I don't know. I'm I'm weird in, in that sense. A lot of people rank Absolution like the highest, but I think people often overlook that it doesn't have curse or courage, uh, which I think is a big thing. Um, I guess for going... Uh, yeah, Lament definitely goes above pure. I think Lament is often underrated. You know, eh, no, not above Guardian. Lament is uh, underrated. Um, it uh, it has actually pretty decent damage, and it's you can build it tanky, and you have access to curse. People people overlook Lament a lot and call it bad, but Lament being a water, I mean, purely because it's a water mythic, has a lot of options available to it and a lot of good options. So I'd say Lament deserves a higher rank than most people uh, give it credit for. Monster. Uh, I can even see putting Monster above Fantasia. Because Monster basically just has high damage. And by the way, this isn't... If I was considering, like, armor powders, 
uh, I'd probably put monster in like S tier. Uh, but just in general usage, monster is just a very powerful weapon. Uh, crazy tank abilities, crazy damage abilities. It's a, it's a very powerful weapon. Um, it, it also does way more damage than people give credit for. I think for raid support, well, okay, for raid support, lament and versus monster is kind of a question of how tanky do you want to be. Do you want to be tankier? Go monster. Do you want to do more damage? Go lament. Because unless you have a res resurgence, and even with a resurgence probably, uh, your monster build is going to have less damage than your lament build probably. Alright, collapse. Uh, C tier. Probably a high C tier though. High C tier. I, I don't know. Collapse doesn't have any... Justice would disagree with me, but collapse doesn't... Collapse isn't special to me. I don't know. Um... Mm, that kind of messes with me putting Thundercrack above Collapse. But Thundercrack has can abuse infernal infernal impulse in 1.20 at least. Um, I don't know. Collapse doesn't seem th all that powerful in the grand scheme of things. Uh, that's where I'm gonna put stuff like Nirvana. Uh, I don't like Gaia and Aftershock being above Collapse and Nirvana, so I'm gonna put them down here because. I don't know, melee, putting melee mythic, mythic, mythics above spell mythics is kind of weird. Though Gaia has pro probably has a special case since mage DPS is a bit wonk. Like, if we were, if I was making a tier list, like, for mage weapons, Gaia would probably be S tier purely because mage DPS is, well, wonky, you know? Um, and, and that's not even just because it's a great mythic, it's just because it's a great. Like, it's great in comparison to other mage weapons in terms of DPS. Um, so yeah, Nirvana, Collapse, uh, Warp probably goes above above Stratty, or below Stratty. They're about, they're, they're about the same in usage. I'd probably put them on the same level, to be honest, but Warp is just a glorified, um, a glorified Morrowind with ridiculous walk speed and 150 agi, agility. So I mean, warp is warp is okay. Warp is usable, um, and you can do some crazy stuff with warp, but it's not it's not overpowered in the grand scheme of mythics. Um, Nirvana. I honestly, I honestly don't like. Nirvana doesn't seem special to me. Like, I struggle to get like eight k spins on it with reasonable survivability and stuff. So it's to me, Nirvana isn't that special. Nullification, however. High A tier, high A tier. Nullification is ridiculously powerful in terms of assassin mythics, and uh, like it has 8k spins virtually automatically, and it uh, ridiculous tankiness, ridiculous sustain, like almost a thousand life steal. Like nullification is crazy. 50 de defense. Nullification is a crazy dagger. It's really good. Definitely, definitely deserves a high A tier spot. Same with Weathered. Honestly, I could see what the giving Weathered an S tier spot, but um, Ibojiru would definitely give Weathered an S tier spot, but um, I'm going to give it a... Um, I'll probably put it above Nullification. I don't know, I haven't built with Weathered enough to really see its power shine, because I've, I've only really seen it do like 8k spin. I'm, you know, I'm going to put Nullification above it, because I feel like Nulli, to me, it has higher sustain and stuff than weathered. Uh, weathered is definitely good and uh, probably is situationally better than nullification and probably more unique than nullification. But for me, I value like life steal and uh, d the defense that nullification gives over weathered. So that, that that's my justification for putting nullification above weathered. Hadel, it's the high C tier. Still, maybe B tier, maybe B tier, above above pure, probably. Uh, Olympic, uh, overall power is probably just high C tier. I don't see, I don't really see many Hadel builds, but like, Fantasia, the existence of Fantasia and Absolution, and just kind of, man, I don't know. Toxo, probably above Hadel, probably above Lament. Maybe even above Guardian. I don't know if I'd put it above Fantasia. 
but it's, it's definitely it's definitely existent. And with one point twenty, making, um, poison shaman good. Uh, I don't know. I I guess I'd have to wait to see what the meta of one point twenty is before I, because uh, Toxo could easily be like S tier if if poison assassin becomes meta assassin. So, there's that. Uh, so I guess this comes with the caveat that Toxo could be S tier depending on the way the meta develops. Grandmother, uh, let's see. Uh, the grandmother is overlook, overlooked a lot, but grandmother to me doesn't get enough sustain with the damage that it gives, so I'm gonna give it a high B tier probably. Uh, but it it is a very solid mythic. Ignis. Yeah, it, it, well, Ignis is definitely above Guardian. Uh, not, I don't, probably not above Monster. Probably not above Monster. I don't know. It's 40, 40 death is a big thing. I'll put it between Fantasia and Toxo. Uh, I could easily probably give this an A rank as well, because Ignis is very powerful, but whatever. Sunstar, uh, either, Sunstar's probably either low B tier or high C tier. Uh... I, I see it used with, uh, in comparison to Fantasia, I think Sunstar is like a worse Fantasia, but people use Sunstar for like fast hybrid a lot, and then again, if, if you're comparing Sunstar fast hybrid to Fantasia, it's kind of hard to measure that because you're measuring like, um, the DPS measurement is hard to, hard to get right, so there's that. Um, so I could see Sunstar, in, in the hands of a skilled player, I could see Sunstar being better than Fantasia. Uh, but in overall power, I think Fantasia probably beats it. I don't know. It seems about right to me. Grim Trap. Mmm. Probably just a little bit lower than Nirvana, because Nirvana you can build pretty tanky, whereas it, Nirvana has versatility and free mana, whereas Grim Trap is the high earth wreck is kind of annoying when building Grim Trap. Idle. Man, and over, in terms of overall power. Uh, that seems about right. I, I, I honestly don't know about that ranking, because ah, man, I don't know. Idol's pretty good, though. Idol has access to curse and stuff, so I Idol definitely has a place. So let's see what I ended up ranking everything. Kata, Freedom, Hero, S tier. And S tier. And Hero, like, if I was comparing it in, in class comparison, if I was comparing classes, all the bows, like, almost all the mythic bows would be above Hero, probably. Um, but, um... I'm kind of looking at, um, like, the power level between the different mythics, so... I, and, and I could be wrong, this, this list is kind of just me throwing throwing up on a tier list, uh, too, so... Um, but it, it looks it looks kind of right to me. I don't know, so that, that's my tier list. Um, I'll probably do more commentaries later, but thanks for watching. Bye.